All right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this Acer Aspire F5-571 series. Um, the exact model is F5-571T-569T. All right, so to open this up, we're going to use a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver, and we're going to remove all the screws. <coughs> you want to keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that is I put them with the flat side down on my desk like this in the pattern I remove them. <clears throat> Alright, so usually I'll go in rows, so you'll see there's like one, two, three, four, five along the top, and then I'll go another row, so we'll do four, then we got one, alright, and then we'll just go like that, alright, actually there's like two there, so that's how I'll keep track of it. If you want, you can kind of put it in the exact pattern that you remove them, so that it's um, easier for you to remember, whatever works for you, um, but yep, I just put them in rows and that works for me, alright. <clears throat> If this video helps you uh, upgrade or repair your computer, make sure to like, subscribe, and share my channel with others so that they can also learn how to do that themselves. All right. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little bit to my channel so that way I can continue making these videos for a living. All right. And uh, yep. Now let's go ahead and continue removing all these screws. It's a lot of screws, so yep. Just keep that in mind. Most of them look to be about the same, so it's probably okay if you mix these up, but it's always um, better to put back the same screw where you got it, just um, just in case there's any slight differences. Um, but on some models, <clears throat> the screws are very different, and if you mix them up, you can actually damage your computer. Inside, the screws might be different, so yeah, it's always a good idea to keep them in order. <clears throat> All right. So there's some other things that I can point out here on the bottom. So this one screw it holds in the CD drive here. <clears throat> and then there's this little battery reset button here. Um, there's a tiny hole. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. But you can use a like bent out paper clip or um, just something like this. You just bend it and then you can use that to press the button in there. I don't want to reset it because then that might reset the BIOS and things like that. But if you press and hold the button that's in that hole for about 15 seconds, sometimes it can help sol solve like startup booting issues and things like that. All right, after we remove this one screw, we can get out the CD drive. I use my fingernail like that, and there we go. It comes out pretty easily. There's three screws hidden under here, so we're going to have to remove those as well. All right. <clears throat> so remove those and put those aside as well. Okay. All right, got those three out. All right, so we got another three going along here. And then we got another four along the bottom. Okay. It's a lot of screws to remove just to get to the hard drive, geez. Okay, there we go. And then once you get these screws out, we're going to go ahead and pop the bottom cover off. Wow, that's a lot of screws. There we go. Alright, so what we're going to do, let's go ahead and rotate this. I'm going to get my fingernail in this little gap here. You can use plastic pry tools if you want, but I like to use my fingernails. Okay, so pretty much I'll get them in there. And then I'll use my thumbs to push on the back. Let's see if it'll pop out. Nope, the clips actually go the other way it seems. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and open up the computer here. Okay, so I'm going to get my fingernails in there, and then I'm going to push on the palm rest here, and let's see if we can pop it out that way. Okay, wow, these clips are super strong. They don't want to pop out. Hmm, okay, let's see. All right, so I'm going to use this. So here you can see I can pop it out this way. It looks like the clips should pop out from this side, so, hmm. Okay, so I used the uh, SD card slot and then I kind of pushed with my thumb here and pulled with my other finger. And that's how I kind of started the um, clip popping up. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it this way. And then let's go ahead and try and pop these out as well. So same thing, fingernails in there. And we're just going to pull up like this. Wow, those clips are strong. What in the world? 
Okay, let's see if going over to the side will help. So this, the headphone jack is actually sticking out here. So we're actually gonna have to lift it up from this side, okay? So let's see here, we got the CD drive. So here I popped out that, all right? I'm gonna go over to this side. And here you can see all of this side is popping out really easily. So that's kind of interesting. This side all came out easily. And then this all came out pretty easily. Here you can see, all right? Let's go ahead and work our way over here. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull on this while I pull this cover up, and that looks like it's working. So I'm gonna just slide my fingernail under there while I kind of pull this. All right, there we go. Okay, so we got all of that up. Again, we have to swing it over this way because the headphone jack does stick out into the plastic case. If you try and lift that side, you can actually damage the motherboard. So there we go. I'm gonna lift this up. And then we're going to kind of swing it over, and there we go. Oh, there's a cable under there too as well. So you want to be careful opening this. Here you can see there's this cable here for the speaker. So we're going to disconnect this speaker by... Oh, let me zoom in to make this easier to see. <clears throat> All right, so the way we're going to remove this speaker cable, I just use my fingernails at the wings of it, and I kind of just wiggle to pull that out just like that. So there we go, we got that. We're gonna have to clean this. There's a lot of dust in here. So dust in there and this fan looks pretty bad. All right, I'm getting a call right now. So I'm gonna take that call and uh, clean up this dust and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, I'm back. So we cleaned it out. It's a lot less dusty inside here. The fan is a lot better. All right, so main thing we're going to do is upgrade the hard drive to an SSD. Um, so I'm not really going to take everything else out, but here you can see the wireless card. Okay, just like every other one, remove one screw and you can pull it out. The wireless antennas you pull up from the tails. Got the, look, this looks like the keyboard backlight connector. These kinds of cables, they have a little latch, you lift it up and then you can pull these cables out easily. Keyboard connector down here, this is most likely the trackpad connector. Um, then you got this short cable, or this small cable here that goes all the way over, oops, too much stuff here, goes all the way over to the USB port here, okay, and you got the battery that's in here, I think it's, oh, it's not even held in with anything, so there's no tape or adhesive or anything, battery model number is here, A, oops, AL15A32, all right, so that's the battery model number. Batteries are pretty easy to remove. You just grab here at the wings, and then you kind of just wiggle the connector to pull it out. Again, I'm gonna leave it in there because I don't want to reset anything. Um, you got the DC jack charge port connector here. The wire runs along, and then it connects here. To remove this, you do have to undo the hinge screw and then lift the hinge up to get this thing out, all right? Then you got the LCD LVDS connector here. If you're going to remove this, make sure that you disconnect the battery first. Um, again, you just use the wings here and you kind of just wiggle and pull the connector out. After you do remove the battery, you want to open the computer and press and hold the power button for 15 seconds before you remove this. Um, you could probably also use this that little battery reset button, this one, that you could actually see that hole through the bottom of the case that I mentioned earlier. All right, <clears throat> but I always like to do it with the power button. Then you got the BIOS, CMOS, or uh, real-time clock RTC battery here. So this battery, you just push it over this way and then you can lift it up. It has a little spring here that keeps it pushed here and these little plastic areas uh, hold it down. All right, then we got the RAM. So the RAM here, you just pull these two tabs to the side, it pops out like that. And this is PC3L 12800S, so you can get any PC3L 12800S RAM. Um, if you already have 8 gigs, you can get another 8 gig stick and have 16 gigs total. I don't think they sell 16 gig sticks of this type of RAM. Alright, so we'll clip that back in. And I think that's pretty much all there is. Let's go ahead and remove the hard drive. So the hard drive's right here. It has this um, thing holding it in place, it looks like. Actually, there's not, there's not anything here holding it down. It doesn't look... So let's see if we can just pull this back. Okay, so here you can see I can actually slightly lift this up, but uh, I think we have to just slide the hard drive back. So it's hard to do that with because there's nothing to pull on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the screwdriver in the screw hole, and I'm going to use that to slide this. All right, so we're going to go like that, and there we go. All right, so I just use the screw hole to help like pull this, and we can slide it like that. 
All right, once you do that, you can go ahead and lift this hard drive out. Um, looks like there's no screws holding the hard drive in place, so that's nice. You can actually just um, pull these over to the side like that and pull the hard drive out. So there we go, this is the old hard drive. We're gonna get the SSD now, and we're just gonna put that in its place. So just get that, those little, um, I don't know what you call those, the like protruding things to stick into the screw holes or the screw mounts. There we go, and we got the hard drive mounted. So now we're just going to put this back in. So it goes back like that. Same thing, we're just gonna slide it over. Okay, make sure that it's going in between that. And then we're just gonna push it to slide it and reconnect it. And there we go, hard drive replaced, upgraded to SSD. We're going to reinstall Windows onto this because their old hard drive was dead. I couldn't um, clone everything over. When I tried, it just failed, all right? So let's go ahead and put the <clears throat> bottom cover back on. So we got this CD drive thing. All right, so let's go ahead and put this. So we're gonna have to get this speaker in first. Let's turn this around to make it a little bit easier to see. Hopefully I can show it better this way. Okay, so the connector's right there. All right, so let's see, how are we gonna do this? So um, I'm gonna have to lower the cover so it might block the view, but yeah, all right, let's see. So the pins are towards the top. So let me make sure I get this the right way. Okay, so when you plug this cable in, um, they actually put a black dot on it to show you which way is right side up. So hopefully you can see that, there you go. So this side actually faces up and then this side with the little pins goes towards the board. Okay, so again, okay, I can actually show it this way. So let's zoom in. Okay, so we can have the cover like this and we can actually reach the cable out this way. And we'll just get the cable connected, line it up. It's a little tricky. But I might have to turn this around for me to work on it. All right, I'll do it sideways like this. So there we go. Let's see if I can do it this way. Okay, so just like this, get it all lined up. There we go, and then you just pinch the two pieces together. Okay, now we got that speaker reconnected. Let's zoom back in and put this back. So again, like I was saying, this um, headphone jack sticks out. So when you put this cover back in, you have to kind of tilt it sideways and get the headphone jack in first, right? So you wanna get the headphone jack lined up here. All right, so we have to kind of have it up on this side, and then you wanna check the side there, make sure the headphone jack is going in. Might be a little pain, it's kind of being difficult. I'm gonna have to do this at, like this in my lap. All right, so let's go ahead and get that. There we go, okay. So now we got the headphone jack in there. Okay, now that we've got that in, we can go ahead and swing it down and click in the rest of it, okay. Oh, the Mac is done. Migrating data ooh, too far. You don't need to see that much. All right, there we go. Let's fix the camera a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now we're just gonna snap everything back in. Click it all into place. All right, and we'll put back all the screws and then we'll install Windows. So let's go ahead, get all these screws back in. So get the four down here. That's pretty much it. Make sure that you get the three underneath the CD drive before you put the CD drive back in. Again, hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, and share my channel with others so that they can also learn how to open up and fix their devices or upgrade them. All right, I'm gonna put back these three screws under here. Again, if this video helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little bit of those savings um, to my channel so that I can continue making these videos for a living. These are, again, customer computers. As I continue making more and more videos and my channel becomes more popular, um, I actually lose jobs. I've actually had some customers tell me that they fix their own devices that actually live in the area, so it's pretty interesting. But um, yeah, all right, let's get all these screws. And that's pretty much it. You're welcome to stay while I put back all these screws. 
Other than that, that's all there is to this. Oh, actually, I'm going to do the Windows install as well. So if you're kind of curious how to do that, I'll show you that in a bit. Okay. Get all these screws in. Almost there. That's two screws. Then we'll go on to installing Windows. All right, so I have a bootable Windows uh, 10 USB installer. So we're going to connect that right now. So let's go ahead and put that USB into there. Okay, is this one USB 3? Oh, that's not port's not USB 3. So let's use a USB 3 port on the side here. Okay, and then we're going to open up the computer. And the way you choose the boot device is while it's starting up, press F2. So I'm going to keep pressing F2. Then it'll go to the BIOS here. There we go. So we're going to go to the exit menu here. Actually, not the exit menu, the boot menu here. And then we're going to just move the um, USB drive to the top. So I see USB hard drive here. I don't really see the USB um, drive here for me to boot from. So let's see. I'm going to actually move this one lower. So I'm going to move the hard drive down to the bottom. That way everything else is on top. All right. And then we'll just save the changes and restart. And if this doesn't work, then I might have to, oh, there we go. Okay, so it booted from it. And then we'll just select the Windows 10. Make sure to go back into the BIOS menu and move the hard drive back up near the top. So that way it doesn't boot other stuff uh, when you're done. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys. Again, if it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this spike.